Okay, so in this video, we're going to first start learning. At least we're going to have a first, first, uh, uh, a first pass in trying to understand what uh, what uh, monads are. And uh, even before giving an intuition, even before giving you an idea of what uh, pure functions are and what impure functions are, what I would like to do, at least in this video, is just formally, just formally look at the 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 formal definition of the monads type class in Haskell and uh, and see if we can at least at least figure out uh, uh, using some of the things that we have been learning of what um, uh, about uh, Haskell's type classes so that we can figure out what this what this lowercase m in this uh, formal definition actually really really means and uh, more importantly um, um, uh, if I would like to create uh, if I would like to have some type that would like to be an instance of the monad set type class. What are some of the things that uh, 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 what 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 would be the very first step that I would be doing in uh, making that type an instance of my of my monad set type class? So uh, first thing from this video, uh, actually the first thing from the definition of the of the monad set type class. Uh, what I know is uh, that this is the type class name. So the type class name is right there. It's called it's called a monad, and um, these are some of the properties. These are some of the behaviors. These are some of the behaviors that um, that must be implemented in any any type that have that 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 plans to become an instance of the monad type class. So if I look at the very first uh, first such method, if I look at the first method which is the less than less than equal to and uh, the type the type for this is portrayed as uh, takes in something of type ma and uh, the second parameter happens to be a function that goes from a to mb and the third parameter the output is basically something of type m mb now Again, I'm in a type world. Currently, I'm in type world because it's a type signature. And uh, what we have learned that in the type world, the kind, the kind for MA is basically a concrete type. So it's uh, it has a kind of star. The kind for uh, in this case, the kind, uh, well, the entire kind, the entire kind. This this is a function. The entire kind for the function is also a concrete type. But within that function, A is something. A is something that is also a concrete type, and M B is something that is also a concrete, a concrete kind. I guess it's a con. It, it, it has it has it's a concrete type, meaning it has a kind of star, and the kind for M B is also a star. All right. So given this, given this, I now know. I now know. I can now figure out what what the kind for M is, or what kind of a type constructor M is going to be. So, uh, so if I try to some sense very informally, try to write the kind for my type constructor M. So M is something that takes in as an input. It takes in as an input this specific parameter, the specific type A, okay, which is a concrete type, okay. I already know A is a concrete type right there, and uh, it gives you back it gives you back as an output another concrete concrete type. Okay, so uh, M is acting basically as a type constructor, and because M is acting as a type constructor, this is a kind. This is the kind signature for what M is. Now, why is this useful? This is useful because the very first thing, if I would like any type. That would like that would happen to be an instance of the monad type class. I'm going to start off with something saying instance monad. And now the question comes down to I need to place something uh, 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 in, where 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 m happens to be. Now I cannot put in something uh, over there such as an integer. I cannot say okay. Uh, I cannot put in maybe an integer there, or I cannot put in something that happens to be a list of integers, because the kind for a list of integer or the kind for int is basically a concrete type, and because they're concrete type, the kind happens to be a star. What I really do is place in something over there that happens to have a kind that goes from a star to a star. What is one such type constructor that takes in a concrete type and gives you back 
uh, as an output another concrete type well one of the simplest thing would be would be my maybe type so uh, if I quickly write the definition of my maybe uh, my maybe is the the type constructor maybe is maybe of X equals to equals to just of X or or nothing okay so I can easily see that it, that, that this may be over here the kind for maybe so the kind for maybe is basically from a star to a star it takes in as an input a concrete type and it produces back as an output another concrete type so so going back to this picture here uh, I cannot put in these things over here but I can put in anything that has a kind from star to a star. So that could be, that could be maybe. And then I can just complete off the rest of my definition here. Uh, maybe where, and now I can make a transition to the value world and uh, write the implementation to these methods here. So let's just write, uh, let's take the simplest one first. Let's, let's look at the method return. So if I were to write the implementation to this method return, Right now, this is the this is a type signature, but I'm just going to replace everywhere I see an M with a maybe. So uh, the type for return, the type for return over here would be the type for return is something that takes in some some value that happens to have a type of A and gives you back as an output something of type M A. Right, and I know already that M in this case happens to be happens to be a maybe. So I'm just going to replace that M with maybe of A. All right. So how would I how would I do this? This is a type. How would I actually create? How would I create a value that uh, that follows this type signature? So return, and uh, uh, this could be this A could be anything. It literally could mean anything. So I'm going to say return. Uh, X okay some value X that happens to have a type of this uh, whatever the type happens to be in this type variable of a and uh, that is going to equal to that is going to equal to how they create some value that happens to have a type of maybe of a so maybe of X I can just create that as just of X so I can say return of X equals to equals to in this case just just X there, okay. And um, so, this is this is this is one example of uh, how to create an instance of my monad type class. And uh, let's just complete one more method over here. So this over here is basically uh, people like call, I mean this is also called the bind, the bind method, okay. And um, so to, to implement the bind method, I'm going to set this point. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, so return x of, okay, so that's my return method, and now to, to implement my bind method, I'm just going to say the bind method takes in as a parameter something that happens to be of type m of a, and it takes in a function, and out comes back, out comes back a value of m of b. So, so what I'm going to do at this point is uh, first let's give this value. So I'm just going to do some type matcher, pattern matching. So I'm going to say the first value is basically something, let's say, just of x. Okay, that's the first value. M of a meaning maybe of a. So that's pattern matching if it matches to just of x. And the second parameter is, let's say, is some kind of a function, some kind of function f. Then the output, the output of this is going to be some value of type m of b so first thing i can do is i can take my function f which is right there make it work on something that happens to be of type of a okay so which is right there x is something that happens to be of type of a so i can say f of x right that gives me back some value which is uh, in this case uh, uh okay so all right so my method f takes in something of of a type of lowercase a, okay, and the lowercase a is basically this this uh, this x over here by by the pattern matching, 
this entire thing, this entire thing is basically maybe is of type maybe of something and uh, this x over here as a type of something right if this is maybe of something the type of x is something and i'm saying f of that x will give you back this entire thing is going to give you back uh, uh this entire thing is going to give you back some output that happens to have a type of of mb okay and likewise just to complete this pattern matching entirely i'm going to say if the second value in place of just of x it was actually nothing right maybe of x could also be nothing if it happens to be nothing right and then i really don't care about what the function i'm getting in okay but the outs the answer to this is is going to be is going to be nothing as well okay so in this video we've just taken a very first pass and trying to in trying to just look at formally the monads uh, uh, type class and uh, and use one existing type which is the maybe uh, uh, the, the 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 maybe type constructor and use that to create an instance of the monad type class in the subsequent videos the following videos we're going to start actually start learning of the, of this uh, intuition as to when when monads would actually be useful and we're going to look at um, various kinds of monads from a writer monad uh, to a state monad a reader monad and um, look at maybe how i would de how i would deal with um, something when an exception might occur or an error might occur during the processing uh, uh, of my of my function so thank you again and i look forward to seeing you again